Ciao! This short video presents the IDA Stream capabilities for intelligent routing of healthcare messages based on Apache Camel and Jules. This is a high level overview of the architecture using Enterprise Integration Patterns EIP notation. We can see that we have an incoming healthcare messages. This can be an HL7v2, a fire, or any other related healthcare message that you want to react to. And the ingress point is this rest endpoint that we have here. This can be used as well as a CDS webhook integration. The message, once it's coming to this endpoint, is then uh, passed over to the router that is implemented with a DMN for simple decision logic definitions. And this is the part that brings intelligence to the application because it will decide to which Kafka queues we want to route the message to. In this case, we want to capture all the admission, discharge, and transfer of patient coming from a specific application in this called, called the MMS. And maybe the domain expert here is also interested as well to capture in another specific Kafka queues all the patient discharge messages, in this case, E03 encoded. So it's still coming from the same application, but only a very specific type of messages. And similarly, this router logic can be extended to really focus and tailor uh, which Kafka queues we want to route the message to based on some condition on these incoming messages. These Kafka queues then can be used for downstream and uh, other Kafka consumer can react to it. So this is the technology that we are using. As we mentioned, uh, in this case, we are going to uh, see today an HL7v2, but similarly can be for other fire type of messages and so on. And the application is implemented on the backbone of Apache Camel. This allows to really have a rich way to integrate several type of application. Inside of this Apache Camel application, we're going to have the router that is implemented with rules or that decision manager. And this defined the decision table for the logic and uh, it's really tailored to decide which key Kafka queues we want to uh, route the message to. And as we mentioned as well, these uh, Kafka queues are indeed based on Kafka. So this is the decision table that uh, is going to decide which Kafka queue is the target for these messages. And in this case, we have implemented here the two basic rules that are shown in the diagram. The first one is I want to react to message coming from a very specific sending application, MMS, that are related to all the admission, discharge, and transfer of patient. And this is the Kafka queue topic that we're going to route the message to. Similarly, there is another rule as well that is as the, the one earlier, but actually focusing on a very specific type of messages. So this is our rule for MMS discharges. This is the part that the business analyst or the domain expert can define with a decision table. And this is the part that pertains to indeed more the business side of things. This is instead uh, the part that is more related to the development. This is a, a DSL that is provided with Apache Camel. It's a very rich DSL that uh, empowers the developer to have a very meaningful way to integrate several types of application thanks to all the components. Here, I've highlighted the salient part simply because this DSL, while being very rich, it also comes with a little ceremony. So after a while, this is the part that developers know very well. But these are the salient part. The message is incoming to the endpoint that we have highlighted in the architecture is then given to the rules to decide, that, okay, which topic uh, name do I need to route this message to? And this is the part that connects to the decision table that we just described. Finally, based on this result, is then routed to the specific Kafka topic or Kafka queues that we want to. And in the case that actually none of the condition decided, we're going to have a default Kafka queues, a catch-all type of queues that are going to capture all the other related messages in order not to get lost. So this is a very short introduction, but we can see that in action. And we are going to present today three scenarios. The first one is a normal routing, is based on the condition that we just described. 
Second, we're going to demonstrate the failure mode. So these are the messages that are not given to a specific Kafka queue, so they are now routed to a default, a default one. And finally, we're going to demonstrate how it's very simple to add a new rule for the routing without having the necessity for developer involvement. So to see that in action, I have it already running here and I already have a Kafka cluster already ready to react to this application as well. So this is the first message that we're going to send. And as we can see, this is uh, more technical, but uh, I would like to highlight two parts. Uh, this is the application name that is coming to, and this is a type of admission, discharge, or transfer of a patient, and specifically this is the discharge. So this is, I'm going to send now this message here. And uh, now that uh, I've sent it to, here I can see 200 OK, I'm going to expect uh, indeed two topics. So the MMS all additives and the discharges. And we can see that both have one message, one here, because in this is an ADT message and an MMS discharge because this is indeed as well a discharge of a patient. So these are the two messages and we can even see it uh, in details. These contain the same message that we've seen that we actually just sent. So now I'm going to demonstrate as well that if I send only a message that is still MMS, still an ADT, but is another type of message, then it's going to route only to one of these uh, topics. And if we go back again here, we can see that MMS discharged is still fixed at one because this is another type of message. But if you go to the MMS all ADTs, we can see that uh, these are now two messages that I've sent. And this is uh, all as we expected because I'll just remember this is the part where we sent the discharge to both these queues and other type of ADT message for MMS application only to this queue here. So this is uh, the first scenario. This are the, is the application reacting to the message that we uh, foreseen about. Now I'm going to do something a little more. So now I'm going to um, du duplicate this message here and I'm going to change the name of the application XYZ that this one is sent to. So this of course is none of the business rule that we defined earlier. So the moment that they sent it, I sent OK, but uh, of course it's not coming here simply because uh, uh, it's, uh, it's not related to the MMS app. And instead, if we go to the, to the overall broker overview, we can see that now the catch all queues is uh, instantiated and indeed it contains the message that we just sent simply because this is not defined by any other uh, rules. So we're going to move now to the third scenario. So this is a, this is a part where say uh, the domain expert or the business analyst recognize that the catch all is starting to get some messages that are coming from a specific application that is worthy to capture in its own queues. So we can do that simply by changing the rules. And this is very simple because here the DMN that defines the routing event and uh, which are the Kafka queue, it's quite simple. It only needs to react to an event. Of course, this is synthetic for the purpose of the application, but can be extended to more uh, related incoming uh, information. Finally, this is the decision table that decides indeed uh, which are the topics. So I'm going to insert a, a new rule here now, and I'm going to say, okay, I want uh, that uh, when I have uh, my application, and uh, in this case, uh, I don't, uh, I, I want to react uh, specifically to ADT type of messages, but in related to the one which is, I'm going to want to capture it in all my app um, Kafka queues. So this is uh, a new rule that I've defined. And uh, normally what happens here is that the business analyst job is done. Normally this in uh, enterprise environment is integrated as part of a CI CD pipeline. And once uh, all the no regression tests are passed, this is uh, um, implemented as a new immutable image that is 
rolling uh, it is implemented with a rolling update on the on the cluster in this case here the application is running locally so for the purpose of the, of this demonstration i'm only recreating the uh, immutable image and restarting it immediately of course this is a uh, i want to show that uh, it required only defining a new rules in the dmn but it didn't require any other type of development here so now uh, if I go back to my message and here I want to send it from the my app I'm going to send this message now and if I go to the broker here of Kafka I'm going to expect here indeed as we shown this new type of message so this is the third scenario we have implemented a new rule on DMN and simply by defining this new rule now I'm able to dynamically decide which is the Kafka queues that this message is routed to. And this is the message. So just to recap what we've just seen, we've seen incoming message in, for the purpose of the demo today, HL7v2, that depending on some constraint defined with a DMN decision logic are routed to different Kafka queues. This is done on the on a backbone uh, of Apache Camel integration patterns using EIP notation. This is the diagram and we can see how it is translated to the Apache Camel DSL. And um, we've seen how extending the logic, which is the most uh, business relevant part in this case, reacting to a specific properties of the healthcare messages can be really simple and allows you to really dynamically update uh, how to capture this type of messages. I hope this was interesting and I have here the, um, the URL for the um, uh, application and how you can see it. And uh, with that, I thank you for your attention.